friends, it's Miss Sweaterlich. It's good to see you. Today we're going to start with a song, a hello song we did at the beginning of the year. And this one is Hello, How Do You Do? Hello, hello, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, hello, how do you do? How do you do today? If you're sitting watching this in front of a computer, please stand up. And I'd like you to shake, shake, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. Now sit down. Hello, hello, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, hello, how do you do? How do you do today? If you're wearing pants while you're watching this video, instead of a skirt or shorts, please stand up. And I'd like you to hop on one foot, hop on one foot, hop on one foot. Now sit down. Hello, hello, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, hello, how do you do? How do you do today? If you're wearing skirts or a short, shorts, a skirt or shorts, please stand up. And I'd like you to wave your hands up high, wave your hands up high, wave your hands up high. Now sit down. Hello, hello, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, hello, how do you do? How do you do today? Again, it's so nice to be with you. And we're going to do a new song now. This is a Japanese rain song. There are a couple Japanese words in it. One is moshi moshi, which is a greeting in Japanese. When I've looked this up online, I've also um, heard uh, pichu pichu chapa chapa in, um, in the song, but I actually learned it with moshi moshi doma doma. So those are the words we're going to use today. Listen to my song and move with me. Underneath my big umbrella, I can hear the rain. Underneath my roof of yellow, I can hear the rain. Moshi, moshi, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Moshi, moshi, doma, doma, rain. Rain, rain. Let me see if I can angle this just a little bit differently. There we go. All right. This time, see if you can move and sing some of it with me. Underneath my big umbrella, I can hear the rain. Underneath my roof of yellow, I can hear the rain. Moshi, moshi, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Moshi, moshi, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Wonderful. Okay, so let's go through those words just a little more slowly. I'll sing and then you can sing back. Underneath my big umbrella, I can hear the rain. turn. Underneath my roof of yellow, I can hear the rain. Moshi, moshi, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Moshi, moshi, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. 
great job. Let's try the whole thing together. Underneath my big umbrella, I can hear the rain. Underneath my roof of yellow, I can hear the rain. Mushy, mushy, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Mushy, mushy, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Nice job. Now, if you're still learning the words, back up the recording a little bit and practice some more on your own. Because the next thing we're going to do is called audiating. This is tricky, but it's a skill I know you can all do. When we audiate, instead of singing out loud, we hear the music in our mind's ear. So we're going to just be thinking the sounds in our head. So let's figure out maybe what part could we audiate first. Let's leave out one part. We'll sing all the other words except Moshi Moshi. We'll leave out those words. Instead, we'll audiate them. We'll just think them in our heads. Here we go. Underneath my big umbrella, I can hear the rain. Underneath my roof of yellow, I can hear the rain. Doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Could you still hear the moshi moshi in your head? Good, you were audiating. Now, what part could we leave out next? How about, I can hear the rain? We'll think that part. Underneath my big umbrella. Underneath my roof of yellow. Doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Okay, so now we left out two parts. Could you still hear it in your head? You were audiating. Let's see. This time, let's leave out the end. Rain, rain, rain. Here we go. Underneath my big umbrella. Underneath my roof of yellow. Doma, doma. Doma, doma. Really good. It's getting harder as we go because we're leaving out more and more words. We're adding a piece each time. Okay, how about we leave out doma, doma. So the only thing we should be singing this time is underneath my roof of yellow. I'm sorry, the first one is underneath my big umbrella. And the second time we sing, underneath my roof of yellow, all the other in the of the other words in the song will audiate. Here we go, let's start. Underneath my big umbrella. Underneath my roof of yellow. Rain, rain, rain. Good job! I even slipped up and sang the rain part one time. Okay, let's try it again. This time we'll leave out all of the words and audiate the whole song. Here we go. Great job! 
let's go back to singing all the words one last time. Underneath my big umbrella, I can hear the rain. Underneath my roof of yellow, I can hear the rain. Mushy, mushy, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Mushy, mushy, doma, doma, rain, rain, rain. Wonderful job. I hope you'll sing that for your families. Now we're going to go to some review. And I'm going to move over to my piano. Give me a second. Thank you, friends. Oh, no. All right. So now we're going to go back to our walk, running, and glide notes that we practiced. Uh, we were working on those before, before we left school. And for these activities, remember we're moving to the rhythms. We've worked a lot this year on steady beat. And we're going to start with our walk notes, which we're using for quarter notes. Let me see if I can grab one more thing. Okay, here we are. Okay, so here are our uh, walk notes. We first learned them as walk notes. Remember, they have a foot and a leg. And then we learned that they are also in music. We call them quarter notes. So this first time, we're going to listen and sing the word walk, just to remember how these quarter notes sound. volume on my piano a little bit. Okay, great. Now we're ready to practice the walk notes. So to start, go ahead and pat your legs while I play. Walk, 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 just like that. One pat for each note. walk to the music. So make sure you have a little space. If you need to walk in place, you can, but hopefully you can just leave the computer, um, the video going in one spot and go ahead and walk around your room and move a bit. Remember, it's one step, just like you did one pat for each note. So each walk note was one pat. Now you're ready. One step for each walk note. Here we go. computer went blank for a second. Okay, in class we had a chance to drum the walk notes. You might not have a drum at home, 
but maybe you have a book. You could grab a book and pat your book as your instrument. You could use the table. Maybe you do have a small drum or instrument at home. Um, I've got some sticks here. Um, anything that you can find to become, an, become your instrument. Whatever you think, as long as it's not something that's going to break when you hit it or tap it, you could use a chair. Um, anything that you can turn into an instrument. Pause the video, go find that instrument, and then come back and hit play. Okay, so now you're ready to play. I'm going to go ahead this first time and play it on my rhythm sticks I have here. Then I'll play the piano while you play along. Here we go. Walk, 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 walk. one hit for each quarter note, each walk note. Let's go ahead. You play on your instrument while I play the piano part. practicing your quarter notes. All right. Now we also did running and glide notes. So let's go ahead to our running notes next. Here is a running note. Remember we have two feet two legs and they're connected at the top. We also learned that these are called eighth notes. This is an eighth note pair. There's two eighth notes connected together. It's called an eighth note pair. And for this we're saying running. Let's listen to the running music. <laughs> and listen. Good. So that one was quick. Now for our practice, I don't know if you remember, we sat on our bottoms. I think you can only see my knees right now. Let's see. We sat on our bottoms with our feet out and we did our running, 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 running on the floor. So if you could practice that while I play. Here we go. All right, you're ready to move around the room. Make sure you have space. And make sure you're being safe because running inside is a little tricky. If you remember in class, we did small running steps. Even though we were moving our feet quickly, we didn't do big running steps so that we were running into things. We did small running steps and just moved our feet quickly as we ran in a smaller space. Here we go. Running, 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 running. again and play along. This time I'm just going to play the piano part and you play for each running note. Running, 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 running. Here we go. Running, running. Good job. 
All right, our last is Glide. Here we go. Listen and sing Glide. Before we do that, I will show you the Glide note. Here's our Glide note. And it has a foot, but it's not colored in. And it has a leg. Um, remember, you can always practice drawing our walk, running, and glide notes after you're done viewing the video. So the glide note in music is also called a half note. And remember we talked about the key concept change. With the walk note, we were pretty much doing our beat. If um, we use quarter note as the beat level, that's our beat. Then when we went to the running notes, the eighth notes, the change was that each note was shorter. Sounds were shorter. And now when we move to the glide notes, the half notes, each note is longer. And that's what rhythm is. Rhythm is a pattern of short and long sounds. Here we go. For this practice round, remember we do glide, 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 glide. You can use alternating arms or one arm, but you're clapping and gliding up your arm, sliding up your arm. Here we go. Practice your half notes with me. Glide. Nice job. You're ready to move. Remember, for this one, it's like ice skating. Put your foot down and then slide across the floor. Since you're at home, maybe you want to take off your shoes and use your socks if you have a um, tile or hardwood floor somewhere that might work. Otherwise, you'll still be able to slide your foot. Here we go. to use your instrument, this is going to be a little bit different. Because remember, you have to hit and then slide. When we did the drum, we hit the drum and then slid our hand across so that we made sure we um, kept the rhythm correct with that longer half note, that longer glide note. So I'll demonstrate on here and then we can do it together. Glide, 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 glide. Glide, 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 glide. All right, let's do it with the music. Ready? Here we go.
did a wonderful job moving and playing half notes, glide notes, quarter notes, our walk note, and for some reason my running note has gone somewhere. Running notes, eighth note pairs. We're now going to use these to do something new. I want to know if you can hear when the rhythm is the same and when it's different. If you hear me do two rhythms that are the same, you can put your hands up like this. Your two fists are the same. If you hear me do two rhythms that are different, you can put your hands like this. Your two hands are different. All right, I'm going to get my music stand ready because I want to show you the rhythms after I, um, after I do them. So I'm going to be using my quarter notes, eighth notes, and half notes to do two rhythms for you. You can tell me if it's the same or different. Okay. Here we go. Here's the first rhythm. Listen. Ta, 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 ta. And here's the second one. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Think about, were those the same or were they different? Listen again. Ta, 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 ta. Here's the second one. Ta, ti, ti, ta. You're right, those were different. And let's look at the rhythms. The first one. Mm, sorry. There we go. First one is ta, ta, let me put these down, hold on. First rhythm is ta, 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 ta. The second rhythm was ta, ti, ti, ta. Here it is again. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Let's try another one. Okay. Here we go. Here's rhythm one. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Here's rhythm two. Listen again. Ti, 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 ta, ta. What do you think? Were those the same? Or were they different? Listen one more time. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Here's rhythm two. Listen. Ti, 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 ta, ta. You're right. Those were the same. And let me show you. Here are the notes. T, 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 ta, ta. And the second time I also did. T, 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 ta, ta. 